Just like when you start your business, you have to do a market research. The same way, when you get into exporting, you have to evaluate and select the most suitable market for you. Don't think, oh, everybody's exporting into, into uh, Europe, I'm going to do the same. Your product might not be needed in Europe. So you need to understand, you need to, to expand your search and to understand where I should export. So you need to understand your market as well as the global market because your uh, the unique value proposition that you might have uh, selected for the product in your local market, like I said, might be different for the customers who are who to whom you are exporting. You need to know what are the requirements, what are the needs, who are you selling to, who are your targeted customers, who are your competitors, you, because in the global market you're going to have local competitors in those markets, and you're going to have also other exporters into those markets. You need to research all of that in order to be ready. Are you, do you need to sell at lower cost? Uh, what type of quality do you need to keep up with? Uh, all, of these, all of these elements are essential uh, for you to be ready. The global market also try to see what are you tapping into? How sustainable in the market is the market? Uh, are you, who are your prospective buyers? How are they using your, how are they, they use your product? How, if you're using a distributor, how is that distributor going to promote and sell your product? You know, again, this is your product, your service. You want to keep it in good hands. Don't trust just any, any third party distributor or any third party vendor. You need to research those third party providers before you engage with them. Your product positioning also is another element because, like I said, you need to ensure that the packaging is optimized for shipping. Uh, in order to reduce shipping costs. Certain countries have certain shipping requirements, have certain packaging requirements for safety, for the environment, for the health, for the inspection. So in order for you to be able to ship abroad, first of all, you need to research what is required. Of course, there are companies that, that are going to help you with that. There are companies, you know, shipping companies are specialized in these areas. But you need to do your research first to have the proper label, the proper quality standards, the proper, pri proper pricing, and all of that. Again, like I said, domestic success of your product does not mean automatically global success. Remember that every market has different demands and could change every two years. So you need to be ready for this change. Just, just like you are evaluating your company locally, and you're evolving your company locally, you also need to uh, uh, man your company globally. Uh, so for this, you might need sometimes dedicated, a dedicated department only to take care of the global market. Okay, just be careful of that because this might add to your human resources, it might add to your costs. Alfoa is another case study that of a successful export business uh, uh, in 2005, it, uh, it consolidated into a fast-growing limited company, and it's managing the process of packaging, distributing, and marketing the dates received from the farmers in the UAE, uh, in, in Abu Dhabi. So they are really encouraging, because of their successful export business, now to date, they have uh, increased the date production to 80,000 tons. Because of the exporting business and because of the success of this business, there is more demand on dates, on production of dates. There is more demand on farmers. So uh, this business, al Foha, is even creating more jobs, if you wish, in Abu Dhabi, because now farmers are encouraged to, 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 uh, to plant uh, dates and to... to uh, uh, produce, uh, if you want, dates. And al exports around 90,000 of Abu Dhabi produce, produce to 23 different countries. Again, any case study that I show you here, I recommend that you go to their website, check out their website, look at uh, uh, how they position their product, how they promote their product, 
and their services, uh, who is their team, what's their background. Uh, this will give you some insight into those successful companies, and uh, these are good examples for you to, to learn from.